My Dyslexia Journey by Katherine Snyder When I first started school, I didn't mind it because I had no idea about dyslexia. Then it started to get harder. In third grade, I got pulled out of class to go see a reading specialist. This made things really hard. I would miss out on class and new information. And I started to get behind in other subjects, too. Since I am easygoing, I just went with it. I didn't really understand why I was being pulled out. But I did notice that other kids were reading faster than me. It also took me so much longer to do my work than it did for anyone else in my class. It didn't seem fair, but like I said, I was a pretty laid-back kid, so I patiently endured hours of homework every night. In school, teachers didn't offer help or seem to notice that I was struggling, and they kept pushing me along even though I was falling behind. My parents noticed, but everyone kept telling them, that I would grow out of it. In fourth grade, the teacher finally started to notice. I did some testing, and that's when they told my mom I... All the teachers were really kind to me. I was lucky to have such nice teachers. The tests showed that I had a hard time getting ideas on paper, finding the right words, telling the difference between sounds, remembering what words look like, sequencing, and times tables. I also have a slower processing speed and can easily lose my place when I am reading. Sometimes words seem to move or overlap and I need to reread them over and over. Even though I really wanted a break during the summer, I had to go to an intensive dyslexia program for two summers in a row. It helped but it wasn't the help I needed to succeed. In fifth grade, I finally got an Individualized Education Plan, IEP. It helped me because I was allowed to use a calculator. I got extended time on my assignments. Someone read my tests aloud to me, and I didn't have to read out loud in class. Even with all the support, reading was still really, really hard. Since my summer program and the public school system weren't helping me learn to read, my mom found a trained Wilson tutor, and I went to her during the summer and throughout the school year. We worked on letter sounds, word structure, and reading fluency. It took a lot of hard work and perseverance. Many days I just didn't want to go. I wanted to relax and hang out with my friends like the other kids were doing. Thankfully, on the weekends, I did not have to go to school or tutoring. I got to go horseback riding and hang out with my dog, Champ. I was good at these activities because I didn't have to focus on reading. On weekends, I could do the things I was interested in. When I was on a horse, I felt free. School and reading were whisked away. I also loved relaxing, laughing, and playing board games with my family. I have a very supportive family. The single most important thing for me in tackling dyslexia was doing things that I enjoyed and was good at outside of school. Even though I still struggle a little bit with reading, it has gotten a lot better. I have found the solution that works for me, the Wilson program and the hobbies I enjoy. I also owe a lot to my mom. She helped me discover my love for horseback riding and bought me a saddle. She met with my schools to figure out my IEP and fought hard to get me the accommodations I needed. Every day she drove me to school, tutoring, appointments, and horseback riding lessons. She truly is my guardian angel. But the fight continues. My little brother also has dyslexia, and my mom still has to work hard to get him the help he needs. She is also an advocate for decoding dyslexia, where she tries to make permanent changes in the school system for the many other kids who have dyslexia and are not getting the help they need.